Of Australian Day at the end of a big week for the Greek community in Melbourne yesterday, won one Yanis Kouras, the world's greatest endurance runner, popped in to watch a game of football as South Melbourne met George Cross. South Melbourne went into the game still undefeated but looking for their first win in four matches while Sunshine had two draws on the trot behind them and just one loss in six matches. John Tertullis was at Middle Park. Fans out at Middle Park, the home of South Melbourne Hellas, received an extra treat before the game when the newly dubbed Golden Greek, Yanis Kouros, led the teams onto the field and did a lap of honour. The reception was almost as great as it was when he crossed the finish line after smashing the Sydney to Melbourne record last Wednesday. Once the Greek mega marathon running champion left the field, all eyes turned on George Cross's Aussie Latif, who last year scored the winning goal against Hellas here at Middle Park. Sunshine's coach John Gardner didn't give Latif a run until the 20th minute, after Hellas had already scored its first goal and was tearing George Cross's defence to shreds. Earlier on, the home side had made a number of chances, most of which involved Charlie Egan, who had another field day in attack. It was Egan's speed and perseverance that gave Hellas its early lead. The first goal came in the 15th minute. Last year's top goal scorer, Dougie Brown, who apart from converting one penalty has so far this season been unable to find the back of the net, had yet another frustrating day. It wasn't until at least 30 minutes into the game that George Cross recovered from the shell shock and actually made a promising attacking move, ending in a powerful shot for goal by Mitten. South Melbourne were quick to counter-attack and after some excellent teamwork around the goal, were unlucky not to score. South Melbourne's second goal came five minutes before the end of the first half, when Bobby Russell regained his feet and found Gary McDowell, who made no mistake. Sunshine George Cross started the second half off badly. After winning possession of the ball, Taylor tried to pass it back to goalkeeper Kastner. The pass was weak and nearly very costly. Last year's hero, Ozzy Latif, had a chance to do it again, but couldn't make the most of his free kick. In another rare moment, when Sunshine George Cross stirred into action, Gilder's shot went wide. Five minutes later, George Cross had another chance, but this time Latif, who had positioned himself perfectly, missed a sitter. It wasn't long, however, before he made amends, and George Cross were back in the running. The opposition's goal spurred South Melbourne on, especially Charlie Egan. The match's most controversial moment came when Egan had the goal to himself, but Kastner had other ideas. South Melbourne held on to their lead and won the game 2-1. Man of the match, Charlie Egan, was content with a win, but was not happy with the game standard, nor his incident with Kastner. Yeah, I thought um, myself, they got off lightly, a free kick outside the box, but their keeper did the right thing, I suppose, because uh, I was in and they just had to pull me down, so from their point of view, the lad did the right thing, but I thought the referee should have uh, 
well, in England they get penalised greater, you know, I think it's a sending off. But they get away well with the booking. John Tatoulis reporting from Melbourne.